Welcome to the tutorial on Animate Property on Strips. In this tutorial, we will learn to add keyframes to text strip, view keyframe in time panel, animate the text, change speed and direction of animation, animate color and size, and delete keyframe. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux version 18.04 OS and Blender 2.90.1. To follow this tutorial, learner must be familiar with the Blender interface. For prerequisite tutorials, please visit this site. Files used in this tutorial are provided in the code files link. Please download and extract the files. Make a copy and then use them while practicing. I have saved the input files in my videos folder. I have also opened the animate.blend file in the Blender interface. The file has a text clip and an image. Let's animate the text to move from top to bottom of the video. Let's pull up the time panel slightly upward from below. To resize the panel, click, hold and drag on the edge. Select the text strip. Make sure to have the playhead on the text strip. I want the text to scroll from the top to the bottom of the screen. Adjust the zoom level as desired and go to the start of the text strip. To adjust the field of view, use the scroll bar in the sequencer panel. Using the left handle, shorten it to start the text strip around the 14th frame. For this, drag the handle to the right. The frame number is visible next to the left handle. I want the text to start at the top of the screen. Go to the strip tab and scroll down to the layout section. Place the playhead on the first frame of the text strip. Make sure the text strip is selected. Change the Y location value to move the text to the top of the video frame. I will place the text such that only part of the text is seen on the top. Animate property is the small dot on the right of the location Y field. Click on it. Notice the location Y field turns yellow. This means that the current frame is selected as keyframe. A keyframe is a time or frame marker which stores the value of a property. This enables interpolation of the property for animation. The property can be location, color, size or any such other field. Adjust the zoom level and scroll bar to notice a yellow dot in the type panel. Now move the playhead. Notice the cursor is synced frame-wise in the sequencer and time panels. The cursor is on the same frame in the sequencer and time panels. The frame number is displayed in blue color. Move the playhead to frame number 60. Go to location Y field again and change the value. Move the text position to the bottom of the video. Make sure the text strip is selected. Again, click on the small dot on the right of the field. Then, a second dot appears in the time panel at the same frame number. 
This sets the next keyframe to animate in the location field. The field turns yellow for this frame, indicating animation. The position of the text will be animated between these two frames. Let's play the video from the start. Notice the text appear and move downwards. Stop playing the video. Next, move the playhead to frame number 70. Again, change the location Y field to move the text to the top of the video. Click on the animate property dot on the right of the field. A third keyframe gets added and is seen in the time panel. Play the video again. Let's stop playing the video. Notice the text moves up faster now. This is because the change of location is done over 10 frames. Now we will delete the lastly added keyframe. Place the cursor on the dot indicating the keyframe in the time panel. Right click to open the context menu and choose delete keyframe. You may also click to select the keyframe in the time panel and press delete. A short context menu appears. I will not change this now. Animate property option can be seen in many fields in the strip tab. Notice that the dot option is seen in many fields in the strip tab. This means that these fields can be animated. Let's add size and color animation to the text. We had earlier created keyframes for the location field. Place the playhead on the first keyframe in the type panel. Click on the animate property option for the color field. I will also click on the animate property option for the size field. Move the playhead to the second keyframe. Click on the color field to open the color wheel. I will choose a fluorescent green shade. Again, click on the animate property option for the color field. Now, increase the size of the text to 190. Again, click on the animate property option for the size field. Now, play the video from the start. Notice the animation in color, size and location for the text. Pause the video, explore more options and familiarize with the effects. You may save the project, render to an output file and quit Blender. Now, let's summarize. In this tutorial, we added keyframe to animate text, viewed the keyframe in time panel, animated the text, changed the speed and direction of animation, animated color and size, and deleted keyframe. For assignment activity, please do the following. Animate the text from left to right using location X field and through the four corners of the video. Animate the colors in the text strip. Animate the volume in the audio channel. The video at this link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial Project team conducts workshops and gives certificates. Please write to us. Please post your timed queries in this forum. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by MHRD, Government of India. This is Rani from IIT Bombay. Thank you for joining.